Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Um, so we haven't seen you guys in like a week. Oops. Whoops. Uh, we missed podcast last Saturday. We missed two videos in a row. I got sick. I've been sick for almost a week. About a week, yeah. I'm feeling better, which is good. Um, not fully better yet, but definitely better than I was. Yeah, you um, sound better than you did. I do, you guys, I sounded. It, <laughs> Awful. <laughs> I, I, I will say, I think through this whole thing, I always sounded worse than I felt. Well, that's good. Because you if- You sounded terrible. I was gonna say, if I felt <laughs> like I sounded, people would've thought I was just dying. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of things that have happened that we have to fill you guys in on. Things like Sherry's, what, wait, what was gonna happen? I was gonna tell them a very exciting thing, but go ahead. I was gonna say your your new hair. My new hair. Sherry got her hair done yesterday. Wait, yes. is that right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Two looks, days ago from when this is posting. That's true. It looks okay. amazing. Thank you. Colorful, bright, vibrant, beautiful. Refreshed. Refreshed. But the very exciting thing is that the date this is posted, mm -hmm. April 6th, it's your birthday. It is, you guys, my 42nd birthday. I'm halfway to 84. <laughs> halfway yeah. to 84. Um, so everybody wish them a happy birthday in the comments. Okay, awkward. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it is, it's my birthday. Yeah. Um, in fact, one of the things that we're gonna go do a little bit later today has to do with my birthday. Yes. Um, but we just have so much stuff to bring you guys along and fill you in. Um, we have a new member of the Leg family that will be with us for the next 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. You guys will get to meet him later. <laughs> Just, there's so much stuff. So let's get going. One of the things that we're here that we need to do tonight is take this bag of clothes in. Um, this is all donated clothes that we are giving away. Uh, Sherry, because why? Well, most of them are too big. Amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a good problem to have, but it does mean that our closet is a lot smaller <laughs> than we, it used to be. I know. We went through our closet, went through our drawers, and we're like, all right. Almost every single thing that we own. And all of that is stuff that no longer fits. Correct. <sighs> so we're going to go drop all of that off at charity. You guys, just a couple days ago was this one's birthday. Missy Leg is now 14 years old. Missy girl, did you have a good birthday? Nope, absolutely does not care. <laughs> absolutely does not care, but I want to show you. Pretty, she is pretty. I want to show you something we made her. So as she gets older, she's having some, I don't know, it seems like almost back issues. And so we wanted to elevate her food and water bowl. So we got this little stand thing. We, it was actually much taller than that. We cut the legs so that, the, okay, hi. <laughs> I'm, can I show them your things? Them is that okay if I show them your food and water? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and she seems to really like it. So this has been working great. Also, we put Missy's shark hattery board that one of you made <laughs> right there. I love that, Missy. Do you like it? Oh, you're purring. You must like it. She's sweet. <laughs> we also received something in the mail yesterday from a friend that we were super excited about. Yeah. I can't wait to show you guys. We've got to show them. Okay. So a lot of you guys will remember our friends Cam and Laura. They uh, were with us on our Seattle trip. They're just like some of our favorite people. Favorite people. Cam, Sherry Beth. He, uh, yes. He they started a new business. Yep. And he's so talented. Yes. So he, they gave us gifts when we were in Seattle. Hold on, let me show them. Cause I actually don't remember if I showed you this. Uh, Cause we have Sherry's right here. So Cam's been doing like wood turning and he made this coffee scoop and this little owl scoop holder. It's so cool. It's so awesome. So it sits here on top of our coffee maker and this is what we usually get our coffee. It's so cool. So he's been doing a lot of wood turning and he started an Etsy shop and we ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, I can't, this is, okay. Oh, so you gotta start, yeah, this is like the most amazing thing. This is the most amazing thing. So this is a crystal wand. What? I'm gonna try to get in here close on the on the handle. So it's a it's a wood handle that he turned. It's a purple heart, he said. So mm -hmm. it is it's, it's tinted purple, which I love. And then he's got this crystal part in it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. That's so cool. It's so pretty. And, and let me show it kind of down here. We got this pen. I love that. I just love a good pen. A good pen, it writes really well. It holds really well. Like it's super easy to write with. I just love it. And it's kind of like those there's like two different kinds of wood. Just yep. look at the grain in that. And again, he hands turn, hand turns all this, makes the pen. Yep. So fun. 
And this next thing, I'm kind of giving away a gift here, but I'm not gonna say who it's for. <laughs> um, this is a little magnifying glass with this little, um, like the wooden handle. Purple heart. Purple heart that he turned as well. Yep. And it's so stinky and cool. I think you said it's like five times magnification. It's so cool. It's so cool. And inside the bag, there's a little gold chain. So you could put this on a chain and just like wear that. Wear it as like a necklace and just always have your magnifying glass. Look at those, you guys. You guys know we love supporting friends. And so I'm gonna link down below to Agathist Creations, which is Cam's Etsy shop. Uh, we love this stuff, we love them. The stuff he does that, have items available. He does have stuff available right now, so go check it out. Go support Cam. Uh, the crystal wand is one of the coolest, most unique things yes. we've seen. We have like Harry Potter wands because nerds. Obviously. But this is so cool. We're trying to figure out how to display it because it's like, this needs a place of prominence. Yes. It's so cool. So anyway, link down below, go check it out. Uh, I think now we're actually gonna head to the mall to get Adam's birthday gift. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so here we are heading into the Diamond Center Mall and you guys will notice, uh, well, you'll notice a couple things. Look at Sherry's hair, kind of windy. Uh, but also, look at all the snow that is melted. Holy cow. Um, even though this morning we did get some snow. But it's all melted and that's what matters. Ooh, it is windy. Let's go into the mall. Is my gift from H&M? Uh, nope. No? Okay. Is my gift from the Hallmark store? Maybe. Maybe. No? Dang it. You can see you got some people here skating on the mall ice rink. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, little Adam, when I was like six, seven, eight years old, used to actually play hockey here. Sherry, would you come and watch me? Cute little Adam. Cute little Adam down there skating around. <laughs> I, I love the size rink. <laughs> Walking through the mall, and um, this just opened. Yeah. A brand new Starbucks in the mall. Nice. Very cool. Sherry Beth is leading the way. Pro Image Sports. What? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. <gasps> a Seattle Kraken jersey. <gasps> Stop. This is what I'm getting you for your birthday. Um, yes, please. All right, so you guys know I am a huge Seattle sports fan. Love the Seahawks, love the Mariners, loved the Supersonics, RIP. They'll be back someday. <laughs> uh, this is the brand new NHL team from Seattle. This is their inaugural season, and I'm in love. First of all, I'm in love with their logo. Super cool. <gasps> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. We were actually in here the other day and he saw that and he was like, ah. and so I just knew coming back, we're getting it. Which but is why I knew exactly where it was. <laughs> I, I put it back because like, I don't love spending money on myself. I know, but it's your birthday. I love spoiling you. This is your birthday present. <sighs> I'm even paying for it. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I really do love this store. Look at all the cool Seahawks stuff. Look at this Chiefs jacket. We have friends that would love this thing. Like old school throwback, so fun. I also really love this Seahawks jacket. Oh my gosh, look at that. And Sherry is freaking adorable. Look at that hat on you. Um, it's... It's like the most perfect Sherry-ish. It's pink and it's Alaska? Yeah. What? And we have learned that if we want to get a hat for Sherry, we have to look in the kids section. Yes. Because tiny little head. Tiny little head. Okay, well, the decision just got more difficult. Dilemma. Because I saw this one. It's the only one I thought they had. But they also have that one. Which do you like better, Lola? Oh my gosh, I like them both. You wanna get them both? No, I don't wanna get them both, stop. <laughs> here's, here's, here's my thought, is that or my concern- I wanted them both. Well, then we'd get them both. It's mm -hmm. not the point. Um, <laughs> my concern with this mm -hmm. is that it's white. I'm not always the cleanest person. What? Surprise. You wanna get the dark? <sighs> I think I wanna get the dark. Okay. What an awesome, awesome birthday gift. We'll have to show you uh, how it fits when we get home. Thank you, Sherry. Happy birthday. All right, back out into the sunshine. Just so you guys know, it is after 6.30 p.m. The sun is still up in the sky and shining. All right, that was a huge success. 
got thank your you birthday for, gift. Thank you for my birthday gift. You're welcome. I love it very much. My hope was actually to go down to Seattle for a Kraken game in their inaugural season. Uh, well, the season ends later this month, and I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. Well. But at least I have a jersey. Yes, you do. From the season. And I will make it there eventually. Yeah. Sherry Bath, uh, before we start our journey home, mm -hmm. I was thinking in there we should give them an update on uh, your tattoos. Oh, sure. That was a video we did. Was that the last video we did? No. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> how are they healing? How are they doing? Any regrets? Any like anything gone wrong? No regrets. Um, they're healing great. I don't know if y'all can see. Uh-huh. Hold on to me. Yep. Healing great. Yeah. One of my ankle is also healing perfectly. Um, when I went in to get this one, she looked at the one on my ankle and she was like, oh, that's great. It's yeah. like, yes, yes, it's great. So, no issues at all with my tattoos. That's I'm awesome. excited to get more. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, rash breakouts, no skin issues. Like, nope, nothing. Like, nothing, no negative effects at all from these. Nothing. And that was the hope. Yep. All right. <sighs> Let's go home. We're back home, but I want to step outside and show you guys more of, like, what has melted. Because, look, out here, even our little back area, most of our snow's melted. There's a pumpkin from last fall we'll have to <laughs> take care of. But, like, this is all that's left. Is this a little bit of snow? Isn't that awesome? I'm actually really excited for the rest of the snow to be gone. I can get out here with a rake, just kind of rake up some of the leaves from the fall, pick up some of the trash that the wind has blown through here, and just uh, make our area look all ready for summer. The things I'm most excited about, though, are our peony plants. There's three of them in here. Uh, I think this one and that one down there are the two biggest from last year, and I'm just so excited to see how they come up this year. All right, Adam, let's see. You just well, put on the jersey. A couple things. First of all, I love it, but there's a problem. It's a little large. Uh, it's it's really big, and this is the size that I've always like I've worn for a long time. All right. Well, uh, we can return it and get you a size smaller. That's a great problem to have. It's a good problem. But it's. It looks I'm, good though. I'm so glad I'm getting the dark color one. Yeah. And I do know they have this color in a size smaller, so we will return it and get a size smaller. There you go. I love it though. Looks good. And I love that I'm going to build it a smaller size. I want to show them. Nope. Let me see the camera. I got to oh, show them. No. You also got, you got the Alaska hat. I did. I think it's, I need to make it smaller. It's still a little big. Well, it's an adult hat for your kid head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you wanted, give us the thought behind this. Well, I don't have any hats and we're going to be doing a lot of stuff this summer. And so I figured it would probably be good to have some kind of hat to even just like keep my hair. Back a little bit. Contained. It is pretty cute though. Yeah. Sherry's in here knocking out a little bit of laundry. Just a couple little things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go, we have about half a load of laundry over there in the basket. I think I'm just gonna go get it started so that all of our laundry is done. Sound good? Sure. I also do wanna say thank you guys so much uh, and give you an update. You will remember I did a video about a trafficking safe house, hospitality house that I visited when I was in Cincinnati and just kind of asked you guys to help. Asked if that's something that you guys would be interested in doing and uh, you responded in an absolutely crazy way. Um, uh, Andrea, who is like the, the manager of the house, has sent me text messages with just like words of thanks and appreciation. This was so far beyond what she expected, so far beyond what I expected, you guys. Uh, I mean, dozens of boxes, dozens and dozens of things that they needed to open the house were provided by you guys. And just thank you so much. And what's really cool is that like, the kindness continues to ripple because one of you, actually, uh, our cousin Abby, who is also a Leg Life viewer, um, is taking it a step further. She's actually running a marathon and has decided, after watching that video, to raise funds for Weightless Anchor for the home. And so, like, one video resulted in dozens and dozens and dozens of gifts for the house, and now Abby is running a marathon to raise funds for them. So, I'm also gonna link down below a link to Abby's uh, kind of fundraising platform for the marathon. If you wanna support her, if you wanna support Weightless Anchor more, there you go, another way to do it. You guys blow us away all of the time, and uh, 
thank you for responding to this in such an overwhelming way. It was, it was and continues to be uh, humbling, a blessing, and just an amazing thing. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, so now I'm going to make some lunches for the next couple days. Uh, I'm going to make chicken Caesar salads for us uh, with croutons. I'm gonna make some homemade croutons. This is our low carb bread. Chicken Caesar salad is one of those things that just need croutons. So we are going to go ahead and make our own. We've done this several times. It's super simple, super easy. So let's uh, let's make some salads. Just actually one of the lunches that we do pretty often, I'd say, uh, super simple. Just cut up some romaine lettuce, cut up some grilled chicken, top it with some Parmesan cheese. And then we have our Caesar dressing just in a separate container. And now let's make some croutons. And it's actually super simple. You can see I got the bread cut up into like crouton sized chunks there and then I have some of this Pam butter spray and then I just go ahead and give it all a nice coat then I'm just gonna toss it a little bit with my hands give it another little spray okay now we are going to take some garlic salts just like that and then toss that a little bit like that get the seasoning kind of all on there and then these are gonna get dumped just right over here in our air fryer basket. And then uh, let's toss these in the air fryer. Sherry Beth, I mentioned earlier that we were going to have a new member of the Leg household. He's on his way right now. He is on his way. Just for like a week and a half. Yep, about 10 days, that's right. Puppy and sitting. we are, we are puppy sitting. Puppy sitting. Well, for not a puppy. For an old man. We'll introduce them in a little bit. <laughs> you guys, welcome to Leg Life, Cedo. So, <laughs> Sherry Beth. We are dog sitting for like 10 or 11 days. Yep. Give us the story on Cedo. This is Desi's son. Yes, <laughs> a Yorkie Poo. A Yorkie Poo. He's almost 16. Yep, he'll be 16 in May. He's an old man. Yep. And Desi is going on vacation mm -hmm. and it did, is not bringing him with her. Yep. So we are dog sitting. And it actually works out pretty good because when we leave, Desi watches Missy. Desi will come over and like check on Missy a bunch. Yep. But she'll bring Cedo. Yep. And for whatever reason, Cedo is the only animal in the history of Missy's life that she. She just tolerates. Like she doesn't care that he's here. No, like they will just like be near each other, next to each other, out. and neither of them. I think that they're both old and they're both just like. Eh. I think so too. They've both given up. Yeah. Let's be honest. He's he's not hyper. He's not like. No. Nope in her face and so she's just like yeah whatever yep so cedo <laughs> is deaf cedo has cataracts um and so we are going to be taking care of cedo he's even going to work with sherry some during the days yeah and just uh hanging out with us here at the house yep we have a dog <laughs> we have a dog for 11 days yep. a good dog i will try to catch one of my favorite things about cedo is that he honks like a goose <laughs> he has a cough <laughs> he has a like uh is it collapsed trachea uh -huh. is that right which and, is common in small dogs. And so sometimes like he honks and it is goosish and it's spectacular. <laughs> and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So uh, we got a dog in our vlogs. Yep, we do. Makes me pretty happy. So you can see Missy's down here. She's just minding her own business. She saw that Cito's here. Missy, what do you think about Cito being here? Your dog boyfriend. Yeah, you okay with that? Sharing your house for a little bit? Okay, the sass on this one is aggressive. Also, I never finished this from earlier, showing you guys. Uh, the croutons are finished and amazing. And so now I'm just gonna put them in the Ziploc bag right here, and then we will just have these to add to our salads for lunch. And look at that, you guys. Five pieces of bread got us a nice size bag of croutons. Those would be great in like soups, pretty much anything. So glad we have those. And in case you're wondering, those were in the air fryer for um, about nine minutes at 370 degrees. I shook them up a couple times uh, just to kind of get them moved around while they were in there. Uh, but yeah, nine minutes at 370 uh, for us gets them the crispiness that we want. Coming back upstairs and look, these two are already best friends. Of course. Cedo. He's over here all the time. So Cedo. The name means what, Sherry? Osito means uh, little bear. Little bear in Spanish? Yeah. Adorable. Also, I've got to show you this, you guys. This is the greatest <laughs> thing ever. Desi made us. Hold on. <laughs> Let me show you. An entire The Osito Diaries, all you need to know about Cito book. It is his, like, feeding schedule, pooping schedule, why he coughs, FAQs. So basically we have emergency phone numbers. Emergency phone numbers. We have our little Cedo Bible 
for that guy. We've got Cito's bed over here. Got like a whole bag of goodies. You've got a bunch of stuff because, oh God, it's dark. Let's turn, walk, turn, turn, turn. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a whole bunch of goodies because like you're gonna be taking him to work with you and stuff. Yes, so he has like a bed for the car that's in my car. He has um, like an away bed that will be living at my <laughs> office. <laughs> he has his home bed, which is this one. So I'm gonna take him to work with me and I'll bring his food and that kind of stuff too, so. And Cito will be office dog number two. Yes, we I, already have an office dog. June. June, yep. So she's also just a little dachshund. So little dogs are really great for our office. So I'm excited. I don't have an office dog. When? I'll share. I do for a few days. Cito. Oh, that's right. Deaf. Dang yeah. it. So, yeah. Hey, Cito. 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 Yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Hi. So friends, that's where we're going to end the vlog. Um, I'm going to be up for a few more hours. I'm taking Dizzy to the airport tonight in a couple of hours yep. uh, for her trip. And um, we're just going to be hanging out. I'm probably going to start editing this video. But again, sorry we missed a couple videos. Yeah, life Li happens. Life has been crazy. <laughs> and the reality is, is that like when life happens, just being honest, YouTube is kind of down on the priority list. Yep. And so yep. that's what happened. It was nice to get caught up with you guys though. It was fun to pick up the camera. Uh, we will try to vlog more coming up so we don't miss more videos. Yeah. Because you guys probably want to see more of this one. Cito. Yeah, do you want to be, <laughs> do you want to be on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, we love you. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out with us today and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.